The Lady Queen and Alphabet Grove One misty morning, the sun struggled to peek through the thick fog that enveloped the land. The heavy mist cast a dreamy atmosphere over the enchanted forest, making it a perfect day for cozying up in bed. However, Patch, being a little too enthusiastic about the morning's tranquility, had overslept. When he finally opened his eyes, he was met with the realization that he had missed his usual meeting time with Benny. I must have dozed off longer than I thought, Patch said to himself, shaking off the remnants of sleep from his fluffy ears. With a sense of urgency, Patch hurriedly got out of bed and stretched his legs, trying to shake off the grogginess that clung to him. He had promised Benny that they would go exploring in the mysterious cave together today, and Patch was excited about discovering new things alongside his best friend. Hurriedly, he made his way to Benny's house, imagining that Benny was probably waiting for him, ready to embark on their adventure. As he bounded down the familiar path, the unusually heavy mist still hung heavily in the air, adding an air of mystery to the surroundings. Patch couldn't help but think that the mist might be part of some enchanting puzzle Benny had set up for him. Arriving at Benny's house, Patch called out, Benny, it's Patch, are you ready for our learning adventure? But there was no response. Perplexed, Patch scratched his head with his paw. It was unusual for Benny not to be at home, especially when they had planned something exciting. He peered through the fog, hoping to catch a glimpse of his friend, but Benny was nowhere to be seen. Maybe Benny got up early and went ahead to start our adventure without me. Patch speculated optimistically. However, as Patch explored the area around Benny's house, he couldn't find any signs of Benny having been there that morning. No footprints, no notes, it was as if Benny had vanished into thin air. Growing more concerned, Patch decided to follow the trail of heavy mist, thinking it might lead him to Benny. He trotted through the foggy forest, with each step filled with anticipation and a little bit of worry. As he ventured deeper into the woods, he caught a glimpse of something shimmering in the mist. Approaching cautiously, Patch discovered a majestic lady with a regal air about her, the Lady Queen of the Forest. She exuded an aura of wisdom and grace. He watched as the Lady Queen glided gracefully through the mist, and he couldn't resist the temptation to follow her wondering if she held the key to Benny's whereabouts. The enchanted forest was known for its magical inhabitants, but encountering the Lady Queen was a rare and awe-inspiring event. As they moved deeper into the misty woods, Patch noticed that the Lady Queen seemed to be communicating with the forest itself. She gently touched the leaves of ancient trees, and they seemed to shimmer and respond to her touch, emitting a soft, ethereal glow. The animals of the forest paused in their activities, showing reverence to their majestic ruler. As Patch continued to follow the Lady Queen from a distance, he couldn't help but marvel at the magic that seemed to flow through her every movement. He kept his footsteps soft and his presence subtle, not wanting to disturb her, but his curiosity drove him forward. As they ventured deeper into the misty forest, the Lady Queen paused by a large stone step, and with a gentle motion of her hand, she placed a beautiful, leather-bound book upon it. Patch noticed that the cover of the book was adorned with intricate symbols and shimmering letters that seemed to dance in the mist. As the Lady Queen moved on, Patch approached the stone step and saw the abandoned book. His heart swelled with the desire to return it to her. Perhaps this was the perfect opportunity to catch up and finally speak to her. He scooped up the book with his mouth and quickened his pace, determined to find her. The trail eventually led them to a clearing where ancient ruins stood tall and proud. The mist seemed to part around the clearing, revealing the remnants of a once magnificent structure. The Lady Queen moved gracefully through the ruins, and Patch followed, careful not to make a sound. Patch noticed that the symbols on the book's cover seemed to glow brighter, as they entered the ruins. The magical aura of the place heightened the book's allure, and Patch was even more intrigued by its purpose. He took a deep breath and summoned his courage. As he neared the Lady Queen, he cleared his throat softly to get her attention. 
She turned gracefully, her eyes meeting his with a hint of knowing. I believe you dropped this, your majesty, Patch said, placing the book gently at her feet. The Lady Queen smiled warmly at Pat's gesture. Ah, young traveler, I thank you for your kindness. That book is indeed a magical treasure, and it holds the knowledge of the alphabet within its pages. Indeed, it is a valuable skill. This book has the power to teach you the A, B, Cs, but its magic can only be unlocked deep inside Alphabet Grove, a special place hidden within these ruins. Pat's eyes widened in wonder. The alphabet? I've always wanted to learn it, but I never had the chance. The Lady Queen nodded, her expression gentle. Pat's concern for Benny still lingered, but the opportunity to learn the alphabet was too enticing to pass up. Your Majesty, I would be honored to explore Alphabet Grove and learn from this book. But what about my friend, Benny? I'm worried about him. The Lady Queen's eyes sparkled with wisdom. Fear not, young one. Benny is safe and embarking on his own adventure with Susan your trusted friend. They will return in good time. But for now your path leads to knowledge and discovery. With renewed determination, Patch expressed his gratitude to the Lady Queen and set forth to Alphabet Grove. The book seemed to guide him through the ruins, and as he entered the heart of Alphabet Grove, the magic within its pages came alive. Each tree in the grove had words beautifully carved into its trunk, and as he moved along, Patch noticed the letters seemed to glow with a magical light. Letters danced in the air, forming words and sentences in the air, as he turned each page of the magical book. A. A is for alligator that you don't want to fight. They floated like fireflies on a warm summer night. B. B is for bat that flies in the night. Images that corresponded with each letter floated up from the pages. C. C is for cat that meows so chic. D. D is for dolphin with a language unique. E. E is for elephant so big and so strong. F. F is for fox, its tail fluffy and long. G. G is for giraffe that reaches so high. H. H is for hippopotamus. Underwater it hides. I. I is for iguana. You'll never hear one quack. J. J is for jaguar. So sleek and summer black. Patch felt like he was in a living storybook, where every word carried its own tale. K. K is for kangaroo. That hops all around. L. L is for lion. He's the king of his town. M. M is for monkey. Through trees they swing so quick. N. N is for nest, where eggs hatch into chicks. O. O is for octopus, with many tentacles like arms. P. P is for penguin. He means you no harm. Q. Q is for queen. She rules the kingdom. R. R is for raccoon, the master of cunningdom. S. S is for snail, in its shell it roams. T. T is for turtle, like the snail, it carries its home. U. U is for unicorn, with a horn that glows. V. V is for vulture, which flies so low. W. W is for wolf, who howls under the moon's gleam. X. X is for xylophone, on which you tap out a theme. Y. Y is for yacht, which sails so free. As Patch turned to the last page of the magical book in Alphabet Grove, he felt a sense of both accomplishment and a tinge of sadness. C. C is for zebra. It strikes decree. He had learned so much, and yet, he wasn't quite ready to leave this enchanting place. But he knew he had to find a way back to the enchanted forest and his dear friend Benny. As he pondered his next steps, the Lady Queen appeared before him, her regal presence commanding attention. 
you have done well, young one, she said, her voice carrying a soothing melody. To exit Alphabet Grove, you must recite the alphabet in its entirety while touching each of the glowing letters on the trees. Only then will the path reveal itself. Patch nodded, feeling a mixture of excitement and nervousness. The Lady Queen's words were clear, but he knew it would be no easy feat to recite the entire alphabet in order. Taking a deep breath, Patch began, his paw gently touching each glowing letter on the trees as he spoke the letters aloud. As he reached the end, the air around him shimmered, and a path materialized before him, leading out of Alphabet Grove. The Lady Queen smiled, her approval evident. Well done young one. Remember, knowledge is a gift that grows when shared. With newfound wisdom and gratitude, Patch stepped out of Alphabet Grove, the magical book still cradled in his paws. He found himself back in the enchanted forest, where the heavy fog had lifted, revealing the beauty of the land in the warm glow of the afternoon sun. With excitement in his heart, Patch ventured further into the forest, guided by the book's magic. And there, by a bubbling brook, he found Benny and Susan, sitting together on a mossy rock. Benny, Susan. Patch exclaimed with joy, rushing to greet them. Benny looked up, a mixture of surprise and delight on his face. Patch! You made it! I thought you might have gotten lost in the heavy mist. Patch grinned, feeling relieved and happy to see his friend safe and sound. I almost did, but I had the most incredible adventure in Alphabet Grove. It was magical. I wish you could have been there with me. Benny's eyes widened with curiosity. Alphabet Grove? I've never heard of such a place. Oh, you must see it. Patch said eagerly. The Lady Queen taught me about the magic of words and learning. It was an experience I'll never forget. Susan nodded knowingly. Ah, oh, I've heard tales of Alphabet Grove, a place where the power of words and learning intertwine. It's said to hold the key to unlocking one's imagination and knowledge. Patch said. Benny, I told the Lady Queen that I was worried about you, but she told me you and Susan were on adventures of your own today. What adventures did you have today? Benny grinned, happy to share his own tale. Susan and I discovered a hidden waterfall deep in the forest. It was breathtaking. We found magical crystals that sang when you touched them. We didn't keep any though. Patch beamed and turned to Benny. We must go to Alphabet Grove together next time. I want you to experience the magic of learning the alphabet too. Benny agreed enthusiastically. Absolutely, Patch. We'll plan our next adventure to Alphabet Grove soon. And I want you to go to the magical waterfall with me and Susan sometime soon, but for now, let's enjoy some treats I saved for us. As the trio shared treats and stories, Patch realized that every day in the enchanted forest held the potential for magic and discovery. He understood that their adventures, whether together or apart, brought them closer and enriched their lives.